Thank you guys for joining me back here on the show. And this segment is a little bit kind of like a a side kind of segment, a side topic, just because it doesn't really have too much to do with the season or kind of implications or anything like that. But I thought it was it was too interesting not to talk about, right? Michael Parsons and what he said recently on his podcast. And at this point in the season, right, it's hard for me to pick what's more unbelievable at, at this point, right, for, for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, is it how bad they're actually playing on the field that's so unbelievable? Or is it more unbelievable what any of them say after each one of these games, right? What Like Jerry Jones, either Micah, Dak Prescott saying that they stink after a game or something like that. I'm always, like, fascinated by, like, who's going to say something and just how, like, ridiculous it kind of sounds. I don't know if I believe that more or less than, than how bad they're actually playing because I thought they were going to drop off, but I didn't think it was going to be anything like this. So, I mean, when any, when any of them talk, it happens so much that... um It happens so much that I feel like I can't take it serious anymore. And, you know, the latest example comes from Michael Parsons, as you see on your screen, right? Um, after their loss to the Houston Texans and another embarrassing home loss, right? You had the, the stadium crumbling on itself, metaphorically, but also kind of literally. Um, another home loss, they still haven't won at home. The, the offense looks awful, but even despite all of that, Micah gave his thoughts on his podcast after the game, and that's kind of what he says on the, on the screen, but in full, here is what he fully said on on his podcast on Monday, I believe. This is his full quote about what he said after they just, you know, got their butts kicked by the the Texans. He said <clears throat> he said, "I'm going to put this out there. We're a damn good football team. I know these these uh these scores ain't showing it and I know people feel like we've got so many missing pieces. I think our defense has really turned things around." Up until the last quarter, when they got that touchdown on defense, we only gave up those those uh, those two touchdowns in that first quarter. Other than that, we gave up six points in the other two quarters. And again, I mean, the first thing he said was, "I'm gonna put this out there. We're a damn good football team. Like, like it's uh, I, I can't take it seriously. I can't. I can't take that what he's saying seriously from that point on." Everything that he says is just like, it's kind of like, not like, a, it's just a joke. It's not serious. He, he can't be serious, right? Because for him to say something like that, firstly, is wrong. Um, they're not a good football team. He should have said anything like, you know, I think the defense is, is improving. Like when he, what he said afterwards, he said, I think our, our defense has really turned things around up until the last quarter when they got that touchdown on defense. Everything from that point on was fair, no problem. But the first thing to say the team is a damn good football team, that makes no sense, right? I, I don't even see how that makes any sort of sense. And also, um, kind of like when he said, you know, last week when we last talked about it, what he said about Mike McCarthy and Zach Martin, I came to his defense a little bit because I think people took it out of context, but he still kind of said a little bit too much. And I think that's the same thing. In, in this situation, right? He just said a bit too much, a statement or a sentence too much than, than he should have, right? Um, so that's one thing. And he's clearly, you know, reaching, right? To say that they're a good football team makes no sense, right? And also, I think usually when, in any sort of, you know, aspect of life or competition or, or really anything, when you, when you start co- counting these sort of moral victories, like, like when you say, oh, we're a good team or like we're we're doing this despite this and that or anything other than actually winning, right? You can say, oh, we lost, but we're still doing this or we did pretty good in this quarter or we only allowed like two touchdowns here or there. It, it, you're talking about everything other than winning. I can't take you seriously. And at that point, if you're not considering, you know, winning and losing, as the the most important things, then the statement kind of loses um, some of its some of its validity to me. Um, so that's another thing, right? I can't take it serious when you know, as the the Dallas Cowboys, you're we're counting moral victories now. Like I know the season's been bad, but 
to to say that you're a good football team and then you know kind of try and get wins here or there other than actually winning the game and how poorly they played as a team it it, it doesn't make too much sense to me and you know the I know that they're playing bad and it's fine you know the kind of acknowledge that you're not having a great season and you acknowledge the the growth that you've shown from where you were when you got your your butts kicked against the Saints and how bad that was to go to now and maybe see some improvement you could say that but you can't say in the same sentence right that you're a good team especially also because all he talked about was the defense right he didn't say that the defense like he didn't say we have a damn good defense he said we had a damn good football team you can't say you have a good team and not mention the offense and you you know why he didn't mention the offense because they only put up 10 points you can't say again that you're a good football team and and a lot of people you know kind of freaked out about what he said and just like kind of took it pretty light heart heartedly kind of like um or not um like they did the the comment about Mike McCarthy but I, I thought that was like the first thing that jumped out at me and you know Dallas ultimately and fairly I think they have good players they have talented players but don't come out after don't come out on your podcast and after you know losing another game still not winning a single game at home you're three and seven you only put up 10 points um and you're still saying you're a good team again it makes no sense because no good team is anywhere close to just scoring 10 points per game um and since you know Dak's been hurt obviously that's the that's the main excuse but it is what it is. Um, you can't say you're a good football team after the fact that your quarterback got injured. It, it, it kind of loses its, its, its sense of, of correctness, right? Um, so ultimately, when, when I saw this, I didn't like freak out about it or anything. I'm just like kind of stating what I thought about it. But, you know, he's just trolling. Um, I can appreciate it, right? Because it is kind of funny. It, when someone says something so ridic- ridiculous, you can only help but, but laugh. Um, when it's just like, you know, it can't be serious. It can't be. So uh, I took it more as if like a joke for him to say something so crazy like that, almost like in a sense where like to kind of relate it to things like when football players and basketball players talk about playing each other's sport and you have a football player saying like, oh, like I'd go out there and average like 20 points or something like that. Or a basketball player saying like, oh, like I'd go out there and like just work you guys or something like that. Right. That's how, that's the level of seriousness I took it, right? They'd have to be kidding, right? It, it's not serious in any sense of the statement that he, he's actually feeling like, uh, like what he said. So that's one thing. Um, people shouldn't take it too seriously. I saw some people talk about it and um, they got a little bit serious about it. But all in all, I think he was just kind of like poking fun at it. Um, and the really the most serious thing to, to kind of say about it, if you really want to go in that direction, is that he's kind of poking fun at the team and, and kind of it could be it could be looked upon as he's not taking this losing ser- this uh, losing season so seriously. And, and that could be the most serious part about it, because um, where he's kind of poking fun at it and saying something like this is, is so ridiculous that he can't be serious where in the same sentence on the same team, you have Mike McCarthy and Jerry Jones and some other teammates who may look at it and they might be taking it very seriously. I mean, look at Mike McCarthy, right? He's kind of like trying to fight for his job here and he's not coming out here and saying, oh, you know, like we didn't allow a touchdown, you know, after what, like the second quarter or third quarter or something like that. But we're we're still a good team like no like Mike McCarthy's going out there and he's acknowledging that they're not playing well it's frustrating um you know they have to improve and Mike McCarthy's going out there you know with a very serious tone and um acknowledging the situation for what it is it's frustrating it's embarrassing and Micah Parsons is is going on his podcast and kind of poking fun at it a little bit and it could be interpreted that way I'm not saying those are his true intentions but I think it can be interpreted that way, certainly. Um, and also, not only that, I, I thought it was pretty pretty uh, uh, unexpected that their special teams coordinator, John Fassel, he, he kind of went up there in the post game and he kind of started getting emotional about one of his special teams players, you know, getting hurt and how, um, how you know, how seriously and, and personal he was taking it. In a season where, you know, they're 3-7 they're and seven right now, they're not really... 
you know, pushing for the playoffs or anything like that, but you can tell he really cares about his players, the the aspect of it, and just seeing them go out there and perform and try their best and trying to win games, uh, how it really affected him. So um, not to say that Micah doesn't really care about it or that he's, you know, oblivious to the fact that obviously he wants to go out there and win. It's not like he he's just like clowning his own team about it, but the, the comment if he's actually being serious, that comment is so ignorant and just so naive and just that it you have to believe that he, he's kind of poking fun at it. That's how I took it because if he's anywhere near serious, then he really has like no idea about this team or like where um, like where they're all, where all their heads are at and compared to, to him where he's going on the podcast and kind of making in my opinion, again, like a lighthearted joke about it, I could appreciate it because, um, again, I don't think it's serious, but it, it could be interpreted differently. And that's where I think that kind of happens with Micah and the things that he says, right, in on his podcast or just speaking in media. I feel like he, he says things and, and other times where it, he might say something that might go too far, not to him, but to, to other people where it could be interpreted differently. It's where, you know, you run into some tricky situations. But I think it's just a, a situation like that. Um, it does come off as a little bit of a lack of awareness because, like, he knows, like, he's not going to lose his job or anything like that. He knows he's going to be there. The Cowboys want him to be there, right? Not like Mike McCarthy where he's probably going to lose his job after this and he's not um, making comments like this or kind of poking fun at it. So, um, again, it doesn't send a good message in that aspect, right? Where the head coach is literally battling for the team and trying to get them to win. And Micah's kind of making comments like this. It also doesn't send a good message, in my opinion, about like, you know, being a leader and being aware about the situation, right? Being, um, uh, what I can't think of the word, but really just a lack of awareness. But overall, um, I mean, I don't think Micah meant too anything too harmful about it. Um, I just think it was a, a joke, right? Cause there's no way he was serious and it was kind of funny to kind of say something like that, but it, it, I feel like some people took it very seriously in the way that I sort of explained it there towards the end. But yeah, I mean the, the, the Cowboys players, Jerry, uh, Mike, Dak a little bit, uh, at some points in this year, CD lamb as well. They, they don't fail to, to provide any sort of entertainment or any sort of content, you know, after, before the games as well. So that's, uh, that's sort of the atmosphere right now in Dallas. But for right now, we're going to move off of that and get to our last segment here. We're going to get to the unanswered questions portion of the show, this time going to the AFC East and looking at the Dolphins, the Jets, the Patriots, and the Buffalo Bills and what they still need answers to in 2024 and beyond. So we'll be right back quickly with that segment. <laughs> 